Hello everyone. My name is Abhishek and welcome back to my channel. First of all, I'm happy today kind of share this good news that I have upgraded my audio quality, video quality and the voice quality. So going ahead, you will find videos on my channel, this channel Abhishek Virmala with much improved quality. Uh, thank you so much because this is all with your suggestions, inputs. Many of you kept asking, please improve the video quality and I've taken your suggestions and I hope You'll find the difference. Let me know in the comment section. I'm excited to uh, know about your feedback. Now, coming to the topic for today, which is very, very, very important. So many people keep asking me on LinkedIn or on the, uh, you know, the community that's on the YouTube comment that they keep on applying for the jobs, but they don't get the jobs or, you know, there are very less job opportunities right now in DevOps. What is the reason? Is it true? Is it wrong? Are there no jobs at all? Are there few jobs or what is going to be the future trend for DevOps? So first of all, just try to understand that the market is not that good. If you compare the market a year before where there were a lot of opportunities, people have switched their career like from non-IT to IT. People have uh, transitioned into uh, DevOps engineers from different streams. That was because market was very good. When I say market, not just the DevOps market, the overall market because of COVID, everybody working from home, uh, you know, a lot of digitalization, everything online. So there was a good market uh, one year ago and there were a lot of jobs. Right now, you know that many companies are doing the tech layoffs because of the over recruiting that they have done in the past and various other reasons that we don't have to discuss in this video out of the topic for this video. So they. There is a declining curve uh, at this point of time for the market, but this will come back. Okay. So don't assume that, okay, the market is going down. Uh, this is only happening for DevOps or this is just going to be down for everything. No, that's not true. One is market is down for everything. And the second thing is specifically with res respect to DevOps, there is nothing as such. The market is down for everything. So what you should do. So it's not that there are no jobs at all. Okay. No, don't take this thing into your heart, take, don't, don't take this into your, into your mind and do not apply for any jobs or, you know, just assume that there are no jobs and get demotivated. No, that's not true. The thing is, there are jobs. Yesterday, I spoke to one of our subscribers on TopMate for the uh, career counseling and uh, they got a uh, DevOps job opportunity after a long career gap on Deloitte. And today I spoke to someone uh, on the same, uh, one of our subscriber on TopMate and uh, they got job opportunity with uh, Ekamai. So there are very good opportunities right now in the market. It's not true that there are no jobs at all. But if you compare the market six months ago, one year ago, yes, that's true that the market is declining. Uh, there is a declining curve in the market. But as I told you, it will come back. So meanwhile, what you need to do is use this opportunity when there are very less jobs. If there is one job and 15, 20 people are applying for it, what you need to do or let's say even more. Uh, the number might not be uh, exact, but let's say there is one job and 100 people are trying to apply for it. So what you need to do, you need to be the best out of all those 100 people, right? Only then you will get recruited or you need to be the best at applying the job at least so that you get the job call. So for that, you have to be very active. When there are less opportunities, you have to be more active. It's not that when there are less opportunities, I mean, when there are more opportunities, you don't have to be that active because recruiters will try to find you. But when there are less opportunities, that is when you have to use some tips and tricks and you have to be more active. You have to show your hard work. Then you'll get the job, right? So for that, be active on LinkedIn. Of course, uh, if there are less calls, if there are less uh, LinkedIn posts, that's okay. Go to the job description. Try to modify your resume according to the job description. If you keep sending one resume everywhere, then your resume will not be selected because different companies will have different things. And in one resume, you cannot fit everything as well. If you see my resume is one page or two pages, I cannot put everything that I've done. What I'll do is let's say I'm interested in Microsoft, for example. I'll look into the JD of cloud engineer in Microsoft and I'll modify my resume accordingly and I'll send it to Microsoft. So if I directly send my resume, I might have so many good things in my resume, but not for the job that they're offering. So what they'll do, they'll tell you that Abhishek, you are a very good candidate, but you are not right fit for my organization at this point of time. I'll get back to you when I have suitable job opportunity for you. So to avoid that, update your resume according to the job description that you want to apply and then apply for the job. And do not just, like I told you, like do not just take one resume and go to a portal and keep applying for n number of DevOps opportunities that you find. Then you will get demotivated for sure. 
and then the second thing is take this opportunity for learning let's say you are coming from non it background to it background i mean you are aspiring devops engineer moving from a different stream to devops or you are a fresher who is trying to get into uh, devops through an internship or through a opportunity what you need to do is utilize this time in two months or three months when the market comes up right you can crack devops interviews with very good packages to do that right now you have to utilize your time what you need to do do live projects post your updates on linkedin what have you done if you have done some something very great today then put that on linkedin only then people will understand right if you just say that okay um, you know i don't want to post things uh, in different places then that's fine but how will people know what are you doing if i look at your resume more or less everyone's resume is kind of you know they keep adding a lot of points but how do i differentiate a candidate if i am a recruiter i am going to linkedin and i am finding candidates i will find a candidate with better linkedin profile right in terms of profile in terms of the things that you are doing so that way keep your linkedin and github profile active if you even create a small project so you don't have to uh, put a very huge project let's say you have done very small project today that's fine post that on your linkedin only then recruiters will understand oh okay you have real time experience in something that is one and the second thing is upskill yourself for example uh, the free devops course that i have done on my channel 45 days there are like 45 videos and 5 to 6 or even more uh, live projects i think there are close to 10 live projects uh, by li live projects i mean real time practical implementation projects you can do them by yourself add them to your resume and your linkedin profile and that's how recruiters will try to find you in this difficult situation right because now it's the time for recruiters previously it was time for candidates where recruiters used to come to you and you because you have multiple opportunities uh, you used to say that okay i'm busy right now but now it's time for recruiters where recruiters are going to find for the candidates the next couple of months or next two to three months once the market goes down to normal or even better then again you will have multiple opportunities for sure so for now do that thing that i have told you update your profile everywhere and um, search for referrals this is one another advice like for example at red hat uh, there are open positions for sre so similarly you might have companies where recruiters like if you go to some uh, top companies their referrals play a crucial role in getting you into an organization or recruiters approach approaching you because for that companies there are a lot of people who keep on applying but the referral profile or the profile that directly comes through the recruiter is the one that get that gets picked right so look for referrals uh, if you have a very good linkedin circle what you need to do is you need to go to your uh, people uh, your friends your uh, circles your connections and ask them if there is any open opportunity just apply and share your resume and apart from that get your resume reviewed this is another important thing what i have noticed is what people do is they try to mix up things right now the market is not good but that does not mean you are not, you are not getting a job call because market is down do not mix up things it can be because your resume is not good it can be because you are uh, for example your approach is not good the way you are applying your jobs is not good or you don't have any real time experience all of these things matter it's not just that you mix up things and assume that i am not getting job calls because uh, there are no opportunities right now uh, in the market so get your resume re reviewed it's not that you have to get it reviewed by me by any of your linkedin connections who have real time experience in devops you might be having so many people in your connection who have been working in devops who have been working uh, you know in different mncs for long period now ask them if they have quick 5 minutes uh, can you please review uh, my resume and once they get it reviewed they will share some feedback okay improve it in this way and you can improve it also coming to the upskilling part uh, it's just not going through the videos but do real time projects by yourself so that you will get a lot of confidence when the market comes back or if you get an interview job call right now what you need to do is previously you might get two to three job calls a day if you are only getting one a day one a week or one a month you have to be in a situation where you will crack that job okay so prepare yourself in that way motivate yourself that okay today i have a call and this is very less uh, i mean the opportunities are very less right now so i want to turn this into a job i want to turn this job call opportunity into a job so prepare yourself in that way do mock interviews uh, for yourself just turn on a zoom recording and uh, uh, keep asking yourself question and answer yourself uh, okay uh, this is a question how am i 
projecting myself how am i replying to a scenario that interviewer is asking me so yeah these are some of the tips and tricks uh, that i want to share with you people and um, yeah i hope you find this video useful if you have any questions let's say i haven't covered uh, something in this video and you have some questions you can ask me uh, these questions in linkedin or in the youtube comments i will definitely reply but do not just stop at the greeting like i have seen many people just say hi abhishek and wait for my reply uh, i might not reply you in that case because i get a lot of messages what i'll do is if someone messages me uh, hi abhishek and they put everything like you know what is their question and all i'll definitely when i have some time i'll go through the query and i'll reply it but a simple greeting i might not reply because there are many other people who are waiting for uh, answers from me so i will take that as priority so yeah if it is if you are uh, intention is to greet me and uh, then talk to me then that's super good but complete your message just do not say hi abhishek and wait for me uh, thank you so much uh, i hope you found this video useful and um, approach people approach uh, uh, linkedin connections ask for uh, referrals search for uh, job opportunities even more actively that's the only way you are going to get jobs and when you get a job opportunity don't miss it thank you so much for watching this video i'll see you all in the next video and definitely share the uh, feedback regarding the uh, video quality today i'll be uh, waiting for your reply and i'm very excited <laughs> thank you so much see you all bye